this package is came from Texas. And a big box and smart computer. Yeah, the administrator bios. I don't see no charger in the box. Doesn't power on. Oh, there's a scratch or mark over there. I use computer like scratch over there. Oh, other than that, it still looks so good. So let's see the screen. Yeah, the screen still good. Go to the F10. Boot to the BIOS. Yep, and he's asking us about the password. HP Elite Book 840G8. We lift the board a little bit so don't get a lot of heat under the keyboard. And that's the chip. What so wanna remove? The one is here. So it's about uh, 450. This board with the, the heat is deformed quick. <laughs> so I'm reading the chip now because I want to keep up clean copy in case if anything happen then yeah, we do a modification in another copy we program the chip then we install it in the computer so in case if anything goes wrong we still gonna have the clean copy to try again
okay so this is the copy we modified and now we are going to get another apron So the first time we turn on the computer may restart a couple times and it will take a long time to boot. And you may hear the fan like loud but just wait till you get to the screen. Now we can boot the BIOS. Alright, now we can boot from USB. Alright, let's finish putting it together, then uh, we boot the USB. I show the USB over there and it's booted the USB. So I done reinstalling the Windows 11 from the flash drive and as you see it's boot fine but there is no sound, keyboard doesn't work, no the keyboard work, the touchpad doesn't work and could be also some other function doesn't work because the missing drivers so we're gonna go to device manager and here is the the audio hardware and it should be installed uh, from the windows update <laughs> 